Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Seems like you could use a witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse. The Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey. To Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Hey ya! Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Time to end this. Kid, you waited for help. It never came. That's Velen for you. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepus. Wonder what spell requires that. The dry red from Zubaran, southern slope. Notes of black currant and citrus. Ah, pains the heart. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. Just when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The cane's begin capable. Changed mice into horses. Third level transfiguration. I'm impressed. But I still don't get it. Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now to return to the fairy tale. I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother. I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? I'm a witcher, not a gigolo. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. I don't want to shag you in the bushes, but to share a pleasant evening. But if no, then no. Oh, all right. I'll do it. I feel honored. Truly. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. No way. Don't like having spells cast on me. Besides, my clothes aren't rancid. Debatable. But let's not argue and ruin the mood. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Cinderella, we'll have a great fall. Ha! As fast as you can! Try to catch me! Thought you were better horseman. For the record, I was riding a mouse. For someone who usually trots around on a roach, that shouldn't present a challenge. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Could have just told me what this was about, Ryder. <laughs> Geralt, run to the woods and fetch my shopping. I'd like to make dinner. Well, would you have helped? If I'd known I'd get a glass of Zubaran dry in return, of course. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. All right, I'm curious. We celebrating something? Yes, a return to the living. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. 
Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the fort, and the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Uh, why are you even interested? Because I grasp the importance of the studies conducted there. In the wrong hands, the findings could do immense harm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? Sorry. There's someone else. <laughs> so what? Oh, Geralt, Geralt. You're so old-fashioned. Will you at least lie down and gaze at the stars with me? Hmm. Why not? Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Egfain Navi. up to something. Ah, Fike Isle, the tower. What now, you piece of hell? A light. Top floor of the tower. For? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face, or I might think you don't like me anymore. I don't. You're a vile, two-faced, four-tongued viper. <laughs> ho, ho. And I always took you for a gentleman.
All jokes aside, what are you gonna do with those notes? Do you really believe you can call me names and then revert to polite conversation just like that? Get out of my sight, before I give in to my urge to teach you some manners. I'll go as soon as you hand me those notes. Then you shall stay here forever. This way. <laughs> 